Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has arrived in China. He's visiting the country for the first time in nearly 20 years. We're going to speak to Katrina Yu, who's live for us in Beijing. What more do we know about this visit, Katrina? Well, the U.S. and its allies may have shunned Assad, but China on Thursday rolled out the red carpet as he and his wife touched down in the eastern Chinese city of Hangzhou. Now, over the next few days, he's expected to meet President Xi Jinping, and he will also attend the opening of the Hangzhou Asian Games on Saturday. Now, Assad did visit China back in 2004, and he met then uh, former Chinese leader Hu Jintao. But this is his first state visit to the country since war broke out almost 12 years ago there. So it really does seem that this visit marks the end of Syria's diplomatic isolation. China is one of the few countries that Assad has visited in over the past few years. And it has to be noted that Beijing has been a staunch, staunch supporter of Damascus since the war broke out. It uh, blocked in the UN a resolution to sanction Assad, although Western sanctions did go ahead uh, there. It also blocked a move to create an independent body that would assess what's happened to the thousands of people that have disappeared during the Syrian conflict, something Beijing said would interfere with Damascus's sovereignty. Now, Beijing has also promised Syria that it wants to help in its economic reconstruction and its aid and the rebuilding of infrastructure and ex expected that that will be the topic that will dominate Assad's conversations while he's speaking to officials here. Yeah, you won't, can imagine the, the kind of PR value this must be giving President Bashar al-Assad and Syria as, as well. But it is, as you were saying, comes, coming at a time when China is expanding its influence in the Middle East uh, generally and the significance of it being interested in Syria shouldn't be un underestimated. That's right. So Assad will be looking to boost his legitimacy as a leader when he's meeting with President Xi Jinping. And China, for its part, wants to boost its own legitimacy as a power player in the Middle Eastern region at a time when the U.S., and its presence is declining in that region. We saw in March, China brokered a surprise deal between Saudi Arabia and Iran. In June, Beijing welcomed Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas and Beijing proposed its own peace plan between Israel and Palestine. And when we saw just last month during the BRICS summit gathering, uh, a summit and, uh, that is dominated by Beijing, that uh, the grouping welcomed Saudi Arabia, Iran and the UAE among its members. So Beijing is really looking to expand its reach in the Middle East. And not only that, I think it's also looking to set itself apart as a different kind of international leader uh, compared to the United, uh, United States. Certainly, Assad is not the only leader that has been ostracized by the West, that has been fated by Beijing in comparison this year. It's also welcomed Vladimir Putin from Russia, Venezuela's uh, Maduro and also Iran's Ibrahim Raisi.